Hello, that's everyone. Hmm. No, I was just saying that's a good way to start with the best levels in the game. Yeah, this is one of the best levels in the game. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved. As always, I am your host, Josh, with me as Dalton. Say hello. Hello. We're starting off on the level Silent Cartographer. This is episode five of the playthrough. We're doing a co-op playthrough of the PC version that, of Halo Combat Evolved included with the Master Chief Collection. And... Uh, this is a really, re like, this is a really, really good port of it. Hell yeah. Like, like, it didn't start off that way when it was first released on the Xbox One back in the day, but they put a lot of work into it since then, and it's turned into an excellent port of uh, the Halo games. This is a great way to catch up on... Most of the series, unfortunately, uh, Halo 5 does not have a PC release. It's the only Halo game currently that doesn't. But if you're looking to uh, catch up on most of the story before uh, Infinite comes out, you get this and you can get both of... Uh... Uh, the Halo Wars games on PC as well. The problem with Halo Wars on PC is that it's an RTS designed from the ground up to work on a console, which means there were more complex like RTS games on PC in, like, 99, you know? Yeah. You can go back to uh, Warcraft 3 from 2004. It's a more advanced RTS game than Halo Wars is. Yeah, because I can imagine considering, like, how streamlined it probably is on console. Like for an RTS, anyway. Can I drive this time? Yeah, it's cool. You can just kick them out if you want. There oh, you go. There we go. Yeah, I I love the look of this level. I it's just this beautiful beach setting. It's so so nice looking. I think there is a skull up on this. This rock over here. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. There's some big rock formation on this beach with a skull on it, though. I'm certain of that. I just don't remember which one it is. Oh, uh, if you guys are interested, I put... We recently finished... Or Eric and I recently recorded a uh, playthrough of... Uh, or, or not a playthrough. A, a review of um, Escape from New York. And we uploaded that to the Film Shoot channel over on BitChute. I will leave a link in the description below if you are interested in watching that. It's, it's a fun video to make. Hopefully it's a fun video to watch. And... I used a wide variety of video sources when making that one. Oh, they're just landing. Not just uh, the recording of the movie that I made. Just like how I used a whole bunch of uh, old commercials and shit like that when I did the uh, uh, the Predator episode. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I also finished uh, playing through Halo 5 on the Gameplay channel, if you guys want to check that out. It's, uh... Oh, there's a cave back there. I don't know where that went, though. That didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to.
Oh, shit. Oh shit, my, my shield's almost done. I need to change weapons. Or... Fun. Never mind, I found more ammo. That'll work too. Hey, there's another warthog. If you need some health, there's some over here. But that that full playthrough is uh, 4K and it's 60 frames per second, so you can watch it in extremely high quality. It took a long time for all of those videos to finish rendering at that resolution. But, uh, it looks so damn good that, um, I don't fucking mind. That, that actually got a update for the Xbox One X. If you can manage to, uh, watch out for these guys, uh, uh, fire. They're heavily armored, so if you could manage yeah. to get around behind them, that is their weak spot. These are the hunters. And oh, yeah, I remember these guys. They will kick your ass. It's actually a colony of worms inside that suit of armor. Shit, I got stuck. There we go, we got him. Good work. Yep. Oh, here's a terminal. Here's another terminal. I don't know if they show up for you when I get them or not. I can see them. It has now been 3,000 years since my last contact with any of the other caretakers of the Halo Array. Despite clear communications protocol, my fellow monitors have either chosen to ignore or, more likely, have lost the ability to engage in our scheduled updates. The continued lapse of the domain means that we are stuck with aching this the wormhole of superluminal communications. Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. I suspected that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. I have locked my concerns about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 
2401 may be destined for madness. There are fail saves for this, I know. I hope they work. I will continue to visit the projection systems at the assigned dates. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena or unexpected system failures. 3,000 years of system failures. Indeed. In the meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the Council. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation to measure performance of the installation with negligible upkeep. After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation, I became bored. This was quite troubling, as I was led to believe I was not capable of such a state. This was one of the gifts I was promised, an end to strike. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. For amusement, I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sentient proximity warning. That was a fairly lengthy one. Yeah. Okay, I need to find wherever the fuck that aren't that ammo was. Oh, on uh, Saturday we should be streaming and recording our uh, annual um, Halloween video. Yeah, Halloween video. This year we're doing Silent Hill Four. And I'm going to try to get the PC version to work. Should work just fine. Uh, because it, the PC version of Silent Hill 4 got released on GOG. But if it doesn't, I also own it for uh, the Xbox. And that'll be an easy one to do. So yeah, yeah, mine was running fine, so it should be fine on yours too. Yeah, so I would think. we should be able to do that. I'm looking forward to that. That's a good game. I hope you guys oh, yeah. are too. The yearly Halloween video is always fun. And just because we play it for Halloween doesn't mean it's not something that we don't want to eventually play through. I do want to let's play Silent Hill games at some point. Mm. And we will eventually get back to... Uh, Now my armor's almost gone. Yeah, step away for a while. It'll recharge. We do eventually want to get back to uh, uh, Resident Evil and do Resident Evil 2. The remake. I was going to do the original. Oh. I don't know. I don't even own the remake. And I did the original Resident Evil 1 despite owning the remake. And we'll probably eventually do the remake as well. But... Start off with the original version of the game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, here they come. Oh, 
Oh shit. Shit. Oh, God. oh I'm in the corner. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier for them to back you in a corner here. There goes one. All right. Just go wait for their uh, attack animation to end, and then you can like shoot them. Yeah. You can actually kill them fairly easily with the pistol in this game. If you can get, if you can manage to get them to charge at you and then spin around behind them while they're doing that, you, you can get them like three shots with the pistol. Not even kidding. Get them in the Damn. spine. Op. Yeah, the pistol's pretty overpowered <laughs> in this game. I thought there was supposed to be a cutscene here where you were like shown to, or maybe that's later on. Thank God you can't shoot out this glass. Can you imagine falling down that? <laughs> Fuck that. Now that's gotta be like the scariest shit in the world, falling down a big ass hole or whatever in like VR. Oh God, I can, no, oh, I can imagine that now. Well, you could probably live through that <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, I know. Like even that, it's, it's scary. Cause you have a uh... yeah, I got an Oculus Quest too for uh, RE4 VR. Yeah, th there's a whole bunch of other games like with VR like uh, mods and whatnot you could probably try out. Like this one, if you want to make Doom Three scarier, there's Doom Three VR mod. Yeah, that'd be dope. You could also play Half Life yeah. Alex, and I am so fucking yeah. jealous. Because yeah, I just got I just got Steam VR working on it uh, today, because you can actually connect it. Uh, they they have like an AirLink thing where you can connect it to your desktop wirelessly, and you can like uh, basically like play like Steam VR and Steam games through the headset that way, as opposed to like actually using a cable, which is the alternative. But that would kind of suck having like an actual cable on when you're in VR and yeah. tripping over that shit. Yeah, that, that's, uh, I see it, where my computer's located, I just don't have enough room for that shit. Like, I, yeah, like, I'm kind of the same way, I'm just trying to make it work. I mean, actually, like, like sometimes I go out in the living room and do it, but, if, if, but if I have to play Steam games, Steam VR games, then I'm kind of fucked and I have to stay in the computer room. There's, like, they have to kind of make it work. Because I usually try and like stay seated for if there's an option to stay seated for games anyway, I usually go with that option. But not all games have that option. I think uh, I don't know if Half Life Alex even has a seated option. I'm not sure. I gotta check. Yeah, I really want to play maybe, that. Maybe so. Half Life Alex looks so fucking cool. But yeah, there's a, a lot of different VR mods you could try out for that for older games. I think there's one for the original Half Life too. Which would be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Is that all they dropped off? Was a couple of jackals? <laughs> Seems that way. Yeah, fucking RE4 VR is so fucking amazing. Like, yeah. it's like playing the game for the first... Like, it obviously, like, it feels like you're in the world, but, like, you can't really... You can't really get that feel from watching like a video of it. Like you really have to experience it. Yeah, it's, it's so weird and surreal. And surreal. Yeah, kind of looks it. Uh, I'm annoyed that they decided to censor some things, though. It's the yeah, that's the one thing. Yeah, it's like this. Basically, any um, any line of Leon flirting with either. Well, he doesn't flirt with Ashley at all, but he flirts with um, Hunnigan. Hunnigan the whole game. And all, every scene of that is like cut, and obviously the ballistics uh, line from Luis to uh, Ashley's cut. 
which just and, fu- and it actually makes her look like a bitch, and then the, 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 how it's cut, it makes her look like a bitch because it cuts to her saying, "Who are you?" Instead of you know, she doesn't have a reason to be angry at him in the censored version. Wait, I just went back the wrong the way we came. I went around there to tr- to get more ammo, and then I went back the way we came. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I'd kind of like to try that though. So yeah, it, yeah. The censorship's annoying, but like the experience is it's definitely like worth like playing. Well, yeah. I mean, that's still like easily the uh, RE that I played the most is for. Yeah. You know, if I was smart, we would have been doing. Eric and I would have been doing a review of uh, Halloween. Oh, the original. Yeah. You know, take advantage of there being a new Halloween movie and... Yeah, I gotta see that new one. Yeah, I haven't seen Halloween Kills yet. I, I saw the, uh, the, 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 oh, the 2018 one. But uh, it's been a while, though. I'm gonna go back here and see what this cave is. I remember seeing that a long time ago. Is this the rock formation that's got the... Oh, it does? Oh, shit, there's a hunter up here. (laughs) Oh, shit. There's a fucking... Wow, that's like a new area over, over here. I have like no ammo either, like or something. And there's like a like a base up here. Uh, I found the, the the skull. Oh, sc- oh, you did. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck you are. You're I'm, probably yeah, where I'm, we need I'm to coming. go next. Yeah, because there's I, I I'm not sure if you can actually go into the base, but yeah, there's a new area. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, oh, that's on the beach. I'm going the wrong way. Is there another rocket launcher? Or is it just the one? The skull was uh, up on this big rock formation out here. Did did you pick it up when I picked it up, or do you need to pick it up separately? Uh, Only one of us can pick it up. Well, I picked it up. I didn't know if it showed it for you or not. Yeah, it's down here. It was down here right at the end of this. It's right over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, so you got it? Yeah. Cool. You probably get an achievement for that. Yes, it seems like every one of them has one. I'm going to kick this guy off. Go ahead. You can get the passenger seat. Or, or I could just run away <laughs> to nowhere. Oh, shit. There he goes. There go. Okay, now... Boy, that's so pretty. Did you see the clouds and the ring off in the distance? Yeah, that's cool. And here we made a full circle. This is where we landed. Oh, okay, I see. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I just I tried to avoid just, him, and he rolled right into my what, path. That's what I did last time. <laughs> and the original textures, it's like barren out there. I, I, this is like this is the first game I've ever seen that actually has like a toggle, like key for like original textures. Yeah, the it's version like, it's like seamless. 
the version of uh, anniversary version of two has it too. Oh shit! Oh god! Fucking hunters! Oh no! The, oh, never mind. Dead. Where, where, where do you? Oh where, shit! Oh, the the other hunter's dead. Okay. That was a good grenade. Oh fuck! Yeah. Yeah, really. I almost fucking dead. Shit. Oh, this is the place where uh, I was at earlier. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we're supposed to go next. I usually take a warthog in here just because I can. Yeah, yeah. Fuck their shit up. You can get it all the way down these stairs. And then you usually can't get it through this door. Shafted. Oh, fuck. I forgot there was a cutscene here. Let's see. I kind of like the original textures in this area more because it's darker. It's kind of scarier. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Shit. Yeah, your shield can only do so much, buddy. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, shit, I'm down to one bar of health. Still got shield, but I'm down to one bar of health. Nope, now I'm better. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, almost fell down there. I'm still, I'm not used to, even though the PC is where I first played this with the original PC port from Gearbox way back in the day, I'm still not used to playing Halo on a uh, mouse and keyboard. It feels kind of odd. It feels it's, it's one of those games where it's kind of designed as a game with a controller in mind. Yeah, very much so. Uh, that's one of the reasons like for the. That's one of the reasons for the slower pace than most of the shooters that came before it. Is they they intentionally had chief move slower, so you could. Uh, Because uh, the fast movement was difficult on a controller, I guess. Yeah, especially at the time. Yeah, I mean, we eventually fit that they eventually figured that out. That shit out. Like Doom's twenty sixteen plays very fast on a controller, and controls very very well.
Oh my god, die, motherfucker. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Shit. 